Got word, there's another fish I need to rescue. Probably my biggest fish ever rescued. I'm getting ready for him. The monster pond is finished, so I haven't posted a video yet, but it's finished. But for the first time tuning in, Ron Johnson, your fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and soon to be a therapist. So what I'm about to do, I'm gonna rescue a giant paku. Giant means that's about 18, half, about 18 inches long and obviously super tall. And those that have ever seen a paku, it looks like a piranha, but it's not a piranha, it's a piranha family. So I'm gonna rescue this fish. I got word that the lady I used to take care of this fish having some health issues and not doing well. And up here in the PNW, Pacific Northwest, not many people have the setup to take this fish. So it's either euthanize the fish, throw them away, or whatever they were gonna do. I don't know, I'm just saying, that's usually what happens. Fish is about 10 years old. It's gonna go in a monster pond, 500 gallon tank. But what do I need when I get ready for rescue monster fish? Well, excuse the mess, you forget about that. I need a monster bucket, okay? I need a monster net to go inside. And I need an aerator, right? So this one will be hooked through, hooked through DC. So I'm gonna use my AC adapter in my car, because I'm like, you know, cheap, let me save some money. I already have an AC inverter, sorry, DC inverter, two AC. That's gonna be my car, because I don't have to go to the fish store and buy a fire powered um, aerator, but in the future, those out there that are gonna transfer the fish long period of time, get a battery powered operator. If you don't have a DC inverter, I have one. So that's gonna go there. I'll be right back. Monster fish rescue, here I come. Okay, so I'm packed. Water's filled. Aerator. Monster net. I'll see you guys soon for that fish fish rescue of the Paku. He's on splash. Oh, perfect. Wow, he nice job. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's go to the tank. <laughs> He's a monster. I have to pull it aside and show you guys how really big he is. So, still a part cool. We'll give him a name shortly, but let's show you what he looks like. Take a look at this video. Take a look down there. Look how big that guy is. Actually, let me turn the camera around so you guys can see it. Look how big this guy is. I tried to get the biggest and tallest um, tub I can see. So you see the guy is really, really big. I got air pump to go on home there. So I'll quickly get him home and make sure he goes in the right tank and got some nice good health. Make sure the water doesn't splash out. So it is huge and he is big and we will give him a name. Well, I decided to take a video on the ground and show you pa Monster Paku Rescue. He has to be at least 18 inches long, super tall, and he's in the pond swimming around. So I'd have to lay down here and just kind of look at him. He doesn't have a name, but the Paku. He's about 20 years old. Where is he at? Yeah, he's about 20 years old, rescuing from a really nice lady and her friends. So you can see right there, he's, he's coming to the tanks, probably looking for some food already. So we'll see what happens. Welcome to the first monster fish rescue. You guys, you always know. My name is Ron Johnson, mental health coach, fish enthusiast, and soon to be a therapist. And always, if you're going through something, it's okay. You'll get through it. Don't be shy admitting how you're feeling right now. You'll get through it. And he will get through it.